Yes, no. oh. Will the uh, Tuesday, down. April 16th, 2019 meeting of the Wilmot Public District Library Board Ooh. of Trustees please come to order. I should note before we call the roll, this is my last meeting uh, and my last time sort of banging on the gavel. Um, I really want to thank everybody here and lots of people who aren't here for the opportunity to have served as a trustee for the Wilmot Public Library. Um, it is a great honor to be able to serve the community in this way and um, I'm very proud of the library and I think all of us are. Uh, and I look forward to whatever the next opportunity to serve my community might be, but the next item on my agenda is to go out and visit a new grandchild tomorrow. So thank you so much. We have another trustee who is also retiring. Yes, um, I've had two uh, terms. It's eight years has gone by so fast. It's been a real pleasure to serve with my co-trustees and with the directors that we've served with and all the staff of the library is fantastic. So I wanted to thank them. Um, and uh, again, I echo what Kathleen said. It's just a real, the library is just a great institution to um, serve in this whatever small way we can. And um, I think it's a real asset to the community and I've enjoyed being on this board. So uh, I wish the new trustees. Right. Um, yep, one of them was here. Um, Welcome good, aboard. Good luck and a good experience, which I know you'll have. Thank you. So with that, Madam Secretary, could you yes. please call the roll? Mm -hmm. Oh, please, uh, I have been fed with uh, cupcakes <laughs> from uh, Lawrence Dean. Never miss an opportunity to take a cupcake from Lawrence Dean, so mm -hmm. please help yourself. Thank you. Okay. <clears throat> Trustee Johnson. Here. Trustee George. Here. Trustee Rogers. Here. Trustee McDonald. Here. Trustee O'Loughlin. Here. Trustee Barshes. Here. And Trustee Wolf is here. <laughs> <laughs> Last but not uh, First <laughs> item on the agenda is approval of the um, minutes uh, located behind attachment one for the March uh, meeting. I will motion Thank approval. You. I second it. It's been moved and seconded. Any discussion? All right. Presentations. We have no presentations. Public comment. We need to vote on Okay, I think we have some we public need to comment. Vote on it. Elaine. We've got to vote on We've got to vote on this. It's one of the minutes. Oh, all in favor. See, you Aye. know, it's good yeah. for yeah. your chair up for you. Hi. <laughs> Here's the, your chair is behind you to see. You're welcome to sit down. You don't have to. It's probably better for the mic. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Lane Fandel. I live in Wilmette. And I want to thank uh, Ms. O'Loughlin for her 20 years of service on the board here. The library has shown tremendous growth during her incumbency here, and she owes a vote of thanks from the entire village of Wilmette. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Elaine was always a, a, has been a longtime member of the League of Women Voters, and the League continues to be okay. Thank you, Kepke. Thanks to be a you know force for a lot of good things in the village, among which is encouraging people to not only get involved with things the League does, but to take that next step and you know run for office. So, thank you. Okay. All right. Did we did we vote in favor of that? Yes, yeah. we did. Somebody, somebody. I need yeah. to point somebody to keep me in charge. Uh, uh, you know, keep me going here. Um, Treasury's report. Ron. The simple summary is, we have money. Mm -hmm. uh, tax bills were due, and we've received just under two million dollars in general fund real estate taxes. 49000 from the Kenilworth Library from their real estate taxes, um, $15,000 in interest, um, $2,700 in miscellaneous income, and $2,283 in replacement taxes. Uh, we are on budget. We've expended about 71% of the expected revenues 
and we're at the nine month or 75 percent point during the budget year so there is nothing extraordinary in the bills and salaries everything is pretty much as it should be at this point um, I move approval of the bills and salaries for the month of is it March? Yes. Yep. Yes. Okay. March. So second. I'll second. Oh, go okay. ahead. Okay. I'll second it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's my last meeting. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should do yes. something while I'm here. Is there any discussion? Um, well, just, in that case, just a, you have a question? Uh, just going forward, if it's possible, can these get uh, allocated to the line items in our working budget in the future? If there, maybe it is now, and I just don't understand the coding. But if it's possible to say what line item the checks are coming from? I mean, helpful. they are all allocated by yeah. accounts. Yeah, I, just, I don't know if our accounts line up with the working budget. Maybe it it's is. The same, same it's, the same, right? it's the same. It's the same, right? It's the same. So they're all the like same. The, it's already there. So yeah. um, I can get educated later then how it all works. Thanks. So for example, yeah. you know, yeah. all, they're, they're all, the numbers are all exactly the same. On this oh, I meant our working budget that we had on the, our finance this is committee our discussion. Budget. We'll take it offline. Okay. Okay. Right. Thank you. Um, any other questions? Uh, in that case, Jan, could you call? It's been moved and seconded. Approval of the bills and salaries. Jan, could you call the roll? Sure. Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee O'Laughlin. Sorry. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Aye. Um, action items. Um, heavy agenda today. Um, uh, located behind tab four uh, to change the registered agent on the uh, endowment fund, which um, we file. Uh, it used to be Heather was the registered agent, and before Heather was that one. Um, so um, to Anthony, uh, any questions with respect to that? Uh, in that case, um, I don't know that we need what does it call for the eyes and the nays? I have to for the eyes and nays, so yeah. I think we'd have to do All a right. voice vote. Yeah. So can I get a motion to approve that? The change in registration? Yeah, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> I would like to uh, move to approve the resolution to change the registered agent. Okay. Trustee. Uh, second. Second. Okay. Dan? Oh, sure. I, I thought the president second? may want to, but sure, I'm happy to. Okay. Call the vote. Trustee Johnson. Yes. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Yes. Trustee yeah. Olaf. Yes. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Okay. At that, we have a discussion item, the outdoor renovation project update, which you can see activity is taking right. place as yes. we walked in today. So indeed. So um, we, um, there was an article that um, made it into the Pioneer Press, Chicago Tribune, um, just this afternoon. Um, uh, Karen Ann uh, Collada um, posted this article. I'll circulate this around. Um, we posted a press release last week that was providing an overview of the project. And uh, the uh, Village of Wilmette issued our construction permit on the 12th. So last week we, um, we got our permit. And that is why today you're seeing a lot of activity out on the plaza. Mm -hmm. um, today the project commenced with um, some site preparation activity. So uh, the orange fences that you see around the trees in the front of, and uh, side of the library are the tree protections that went up um, by our subcontractor and arborist. Um, they performed some root pruning on the trees that are on the Park Avenue side um, to help protect those trees. Um, there was some uh, mulch that went down underneath all of those, and that's part of uh, the, uh, the strategy to help uh, protect those trees. Um, at the end of this week, on Thursday, um, the construction fencing is actually going to go up. Um, so the construction fencing will border um, the whole perimeter of the property, and that will contain the construction site. 
and that will help us prepare for the activity next week, and that's the real escalation of work. That's when the demolition of the first phase of the concrete will commence. So the first phase of the concrete is um, the demo of a portion of the entry plaza, the south and west portions of that plaza, as well as the walkway from Wilmette Avenue up to the, the south vestibule entrance. At that time, the, that portion of the vestibule entrance will be closed, and the primary entrance to the library will remain the sliding doors at the main entry point. Okay. Um, there will be uh, a, a little bit of rerouting of, the, of uh, public entry around the main entrance at that time in order to provide safe egress to the building and uh, get folks around the construction path. Um, so while that demolition is taking place, um, there'll be some additional work that will be done beneath the surface of where that concrete was. As you may recall, we're gonna be repaving all of that, putting new concrete down, but before we do that, um, there's some infrastructure improvements that will take place beneath the surface. Um, part of that is the boring for the new irrigation system. Um, the electricians will be out and they will do the boring for their electrical work, and that's for the bollard lighting that's gonna illuminate all of our walking paths as well as the boring for, this is, it's not boring, it's actually rather exciting, <laughs> uh, the boring, boring for the snow melt system that is gonna go beneath all of the uh, concrete plaza. So um, a lot of activity within the next few days, uh, or next week or so. Um, another element of this first phase of the concrete replacement is selective replacement of portions of the village's sidewalk. Um, along the Wilmette Avenue side over here, um, there are two patches that have sunk and need to be slab jacked. They're going to be replaced because they're cracked. And uh, the uh, plaza out in front of us where the, the bike parking is currently, uh, that concrete is due to be replaced as well. So that is going to be taken care of as part of this first phase. In the library parking lot, there are three sites that are going to get uh, concrete pours as well. There are two islands that are along the north side of the building mm -hmm. adjacent to um, the accessible parking. Mm -hmm. um, those currently have turf in them and that turf has settled. Uh, so those are going to be filled with uh, gravel and then um, and filled with the concrete as well as the island where the book drops are. They're going to receive um, concrete as well. Um, so that's a lot. That's like the first phase of work, um, basically beginning on uh, the 22nd through the week of the 29th. That's the activity that we expect to see around here. Mm -hmm. um, what else can I tell you? Oh, tree removal. Um, so the, the trees that do not have the um, orange protective wrap around them currently, um, there are six uh, small ornamental trees that are um, that kind of dot the perimeter of the property. Those are going to be removed, um, and uh, there will be new canopy trees and ornamentals and shrubs that are going to go in in those places. Uh, so three of them are along uh, Wilmette Avenue. Uh, those are adjacent to the space where we're going to be expanding and enriching the uh, butterfly garden. So that's kind of expanding the scope of that garden. And then at the front entrance of the library, there are a couple trees that have overgrown their locations, one of which is kind of right up on the building. That one is slated to be removed, as well as the one that is adjacent to where the new monument sign is going to be at the corner. So that activity um, is really going to mark um, a change in the, the general aesthetic of the space. Um, but have no fear. Those spaces are going to be filled in with all new plant life and will be very, very vibrant by the end of the summer when the new uh, materials are put in place. Mm -hmm. Uh, so that's kind of where we're at with the project right now. Um, when you walked in this evening, you'll notice that in the vestibule we have um, the project materials are all on display down there. Um, we have an inter informational fact sheet that looks like this that is also placed out um, in the lobby area. And um, that's kind of my narrative summary at this time. Do you all have any questions or comments? What do they do with the trees? Are the trees healthy? They're healthy, they're just too... Actually, not all of them are healthy. Okay. Um, a, a, a few of them are kind of in a state of deterioration, and you know the ones that have overgrown their locations and whatnot, um, they, they were targeted for that removal. Mm -hmm. um, what happens to them? Um, so I, they're taken down in multiple phases. From what I understand, um, the primary trunk is the last piece that comes down, so the branches will all be removed first. Uh, they'll be turned into mulch and uh, then the, uh, the trunks themselves will be turned into logs and removed at that point. I have a question, where is the, um, the statue being stored? Yeah, you may have noticed that the statue yes, came off the lawn I today did. as well. Um, we have protective storage on site for okay. all the monuments and memorials. Yeah. 
You want to and make it will sure be that back by the front door, just in case anybody's yep, worried. <laughs> right back as part of um, the uh, the bluestone arch that's going right. around the, the main lawn. Yes. Okay. Is that is the, uh, some of the bluestones coming up? Yes. The bluestone pavers that are adjacent to the parking or to um, the pathways, yeah. um, we have taken those off as well and protected those pieces. Mm -hmm. um, they're just so proximate to where the concrete is going to be demoed that we didn't want to risk damage to those. So okay. uh, they're off site as well. Mm -hmm. Any other questions or comments about the renovation project? Well, it's exciting to actually see something happen. <laughs> things, are, things are definitely moving right now. Yeah, yeah. That's wonderful. It's great. Hopefully no more snow. <laughs> well, uh, that's the outdoor renovation project update. Moving right into the director's report. <laughs> okay. All mm -hmm. right. You will notice that the, the formatting of the director's report looks a little bit different this month. I wanted to take an opportunity to work with um, the leadership team to help them um, get a little bit better look of, um, and representation in the director's report each month. Um, so what I've asked the leadership team to do is to provide a monthly summary document to me, um, providing a summary of their the primary activities within their department, um, any particular meetings that their, their staff has attended, uh, workshops.